It's Hoops TV. In the starting lineup this week, I visit with the stars of Heartbreak High. We'll peek into a cheer squad audition. And Saturday Rap has all the scoops and the hottest shots. Hi, I'm Jay. Stay tuned to Hoops TV for all your basketball action. Hoops TV is out and about again. Today, I'm on the actual set of Heartbreak High. I get these guys to sit down and I'll introduce you to them because they're good friends of mine. First up, Sal Coco. How you doing? Scott Major. Hello. And Vince Paletto. Howdy doody. <laughs> so what's it like being stars of television? I don't know, Steve. How is it? <laughs> I would know. Now what's it like being on Heartbreak High? Scott? It's good. No, no, it's great. I mean, for all of us, we get to get around to a lot of people and actually tour our different countries now. Yeah, how many countries is it in? Uh, it's in 30 countries now, all around the world, so that's uh, mind-blowing for all of us. And you guys were in Europe? Yep, we've just Are been... Are you going to answer every question? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was about well, to say something, but he wouldn't let me. Little well, Sal is a bit jet-lagged. Yeah, he only got back two days ago. Yeah, so, so um, I'm a bit jet-lagged and... Uh... And Vince can talk. I can. Yeah, you want. I can talk. <laughs> And how much input do you guys have, I mean, um, into the actual stories and stuff like About that? Do you, do you use your ideas? Yeah, they yeah. use a lot of the ideas. The actual rollerblading episode was, um, the storyline was written by myself and John Pollard, so... Skinhead yeah. bloke, eh? All right. Do you guys play much basketball, though? Yeah! Hey, come on, come, come on. on. We're like, yeah, you were running yeah. money, mate. We do a few dunks, <laughs> mate, in between scenes. Right there. Oh, you had nothing to see? Okay, okay. Come on. Hey, Steve, uh, when you guys learn how to play, come back and know we'll slaughter you again, all right? We'll let these guys show their stuff a little later in the show, but first, we go to Andrew Gaze, and he's in the zone. Guys, his first of the night. will be the first of many, many shots. Andrew Gaze is in the zone. Does this man ever step out of it? So far in 1995, he's averaged 34.4 points a game, peaking with 41 points against Canberra. There's sometimes when you're really shooting the ball well and you feel real confident and it's just when you're in that zone, you you really want the ball and the, the hoop looks ginormous and every time you shoot a shot, you, you kind of know it's going to go in, so it's a fantastic feeling to have. Without big man Mark Bradkey, Melbourne has relied heavily on Gaze's scoring. A couple of weeks back, he became the first NBL player to hit a total of 10,000 points. There it is, 10,000 points in the Mitsubishi Challenge. For Andrew Gaze. Andrew Gaze, 10,000 points. He was uh, saluted by the NBL. For the past four years, he has led the league in scoring with a career high of 60 points. Ask any player in the league who they respect most, you would dare leave out Andrew Gaze. 290 games. He never sits on the bench. He averages 48 minutes per game in 95. His consistent level of high performance may be because he plays midweek games in Victorian State League. And he spends the offseason in Europe. So far this year, only Newcastle has been able to keep the Drew factor under 30 points. What a year it will be if Gay stays in his own personal zone. Your favorite shot wouldn't be the alley because uh, Gaze and Copeland for the Melbourne Tigers, would it? Well, actually, Steve, you're right. Melbourne Tigers. And also, I used to play uh, under 18 B grade for Melbourne Tigers in Melbourne Park. In the olden days. How about you, Vince? You're Whoa. a Townsville boy. Do you yeah. like Townsville stars? I do indeed. Who's your favorite player? Uh, Derek Ruck is the man, number five. How do you go? How do you? Do you get to many games? Yeah, we do get to a few games. Um, usually, uh, as a group, we all head down and go and have a bit of a check it out. What's your favorite yeah. part of the entertainment? Well, I'd be lying if I didn't say cheerleaders. <laughs> and also the uh, national anthem at the start with uh, Mr. Steve Carpino. He's uh, quite oh, good. Oh, absolutely. He was fantastic. Yeah, he was good. He was very touching. Do you know him? Yeah, I'll slip you that far. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part of this show, though? Dunk! Slam dunking! Dunk. Kaboom! 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 The best dunk of last week. I dig it. Oh, cool and add a ball. 
and I'm looking for some action. But like Mick Jagger said, I can't get no satisfaction. The girls are all around, but none of them want to get with me. My threads are fresh, and I'm looking deaf. Yo, what's up, what I'm low see? The girls are all jocking at the other end of the barn. Having drinks with some no-name chump when they know that I'm the star. So I got up and strolled over to the other side of the cantina. I asked the guy, why are you so fly? He said, funky, cold Medina. playing basketball in California, the United States, uh, I think in the ninth grade. It had to be when I, you know, I got my first start for the Portland Trailblazers, and, um, and I, uh, I think I had like six points, ten rebounds, and then the next night we had another game and I had another like six points, ten rebounds. I like to listen to um, R&B, uh, rap, and a little jazz. When Michael Jordan was in the league, you know, I used to, you know, you know look at him and just be like, you know, ah, oh, I knew, and as soon as I got to the league, you know, one year, and he retired, and all I, the close I got to him was sitting on the bench. Well, you know how I'm always saying, practice makes perfect. Well, I have been working on my acting skills, so check this out. How many times have I told you not to run in the hallway? What'd you think? Was that good? No! Oh, hi, Steve. Actually, it's Paula, not Paul. Paul's beautiful sister. Aren't I gorgeous? Anyway, today I'm going to try and be a cheerleader, something I've always wanted to do. Anyway, let's go inside and see if I can make the team. Oh, I hope I can, Steve. Hi there. Are you the new girl that's come to audition tonight? Yes, I am. And what's your name? Paula. Oh, Paula, girls, please welcome Paula tonight. Hi, Paula. Hi, girls. Would you like to take your place? I'm um, okay. just here next to Nikki. All right. Body rock. That's it. This is easy. I just gotta go to the toilet for a second, okay? See ya. Did you see the size of her feet? I know, they're humongous. She's too tall. See her hairy legs? Do you think she's on hormones? Uh, that is definitely not her real hair colour. There's something definitely very weird about her, but you just can't just put your can't, feet on no, it. No, something very weird. Oh, Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, Paula, could I see you? I've made a decision. Okay, just a second. Oh, got someone sitting on one of the girls. Oh, oh excuse me, sweetie. Did I make the team, Miss Lindell? No, I'm sorry. No. Cancel, we just have a bad day. I'm sorry, Paula. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, girls. Well, Steve, 
Steve, I, I guess I'm not cut out for cheerleading. I wonder what I can do now. Oh, I don't know. Yes? Say what? Sure, I'm free. Pamela's wrong? Yes. I think I'm pretty than her, too. Thank you. Well, Steve, I'm off to go to Baywatch. Today, we're going to be doing a lot of running. And how do you warm up for that? Run. Forward. And backward. Working on those different muscles. Don't forget sideways. Now, about 10 minutes of warming up is good enough. Now, it's not always as easy as it looks to run full speed the length of the floor, stop and pull up for a shot. There's two things you have to take into account. First, you have to do it without, without traveling, and the second is you have to do it without losing control of the basketball. So today, I'm going to show you how you can practice shooting shots while you're moving full speed down the court. Now, remember, you're not going to master this overnight. It's going to take practice. I mean, practice every single day. And the best way to do that is to start at about half court Take as many dribbles as you think you feel comfortable with and getting to an area that you feel like you can shoot from. So I'm going to count and see how many it takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and shoot. Well, that was six dribbles. But the whole idea of this exercise is to get faster every time. So this time, I'm going to take one off. I'm going to take five dribbles. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I don't usually go this pace, but this time I'm going to take one more dribble off, and I'm only going to take four. One, two, three, four. Another thing you want to watch out for is that you land where you took off from, because if you don't, if you jump and you lean forward, then you're off balance. OK, this time I'm going to try for three dribbles. Count it. Here we go. It's the Hoops Notice Board, and the Brisbane Bullets are holding holiday camps next month. There are two camps, one for under 12s and the other for over 12s. Call the Bullets office on 07-252-2877. The Australian Mini Basketball Academy in New South Wales are holding clinics from the 3rd to the 7th of July. Make a booking now on 02-746-2244. Melbourne Tigers Junior Tournament will be held from the 7th to the 9th of July at Albert Park Stadium. Call Ken on 03-380-4474 or Kath on 03-846-6117. And there are mini ball clinics at Arendale Leisure Center in Canberra. On Saturday mornings for various age groups, call Kim on 06-231-7973. Here comes the hot sniper, I'm the lyrical gangster, big up the crew in the area, still have it like that. No, no, we don't die, yes, we multiply, anyone press will hear the fat lady sing. Act like you know, Rico, I know what bow, don't know, touch them up and go. I'm the lyrical gangster. Excuse me, Mr. Officer. Still love you like that. Extraordinary. Juice like a strawberry. Money to burn, baby, all of the time. Give me, give me, give me, give me that. Now that's what I call awesome. But now it's time for Saturday Rap. Hot shots. Hot shots this week. Derek Rucker had the hot hand last weekend against the Magic. The pocket rocket blasted off for 19 points in the third quarter. A tough task against the hard-nosed Magic D. He totaled 38 points in that game. 
But it was Andrew Parkinson who had the hottest game of the week, scoring 28 points in just 23 minutes on the court. Plus, the Southeast Melbourne Magic Super Sub hit his 2,000th NBL point in that match. Hoop Scoops. Last week, the Brisbane Bullets stepped out after training session to lend their support to the young players of the future by enjoying some burgers and fries. The McDonald's sponsorship is directed towards the youth program, with most funding going to McDonald's Cup, a series with 160 teams from around Queensland. One member of the Junior Bullet squad already making his mark is Eric Van Az. At 216 centimeters, Eric is already a member of the Bullets training squad. You really get to play hard, and um, it's hard training at first, but uh, once you get over who they really are, it's just a lot of fun. Chris Monk's ankle injury will keep him on the Bullets bench for a couple more weeks, and he's itching to get back into action. Yeah, it's kind of uh, tough to sit there and, and watch, and knowing, knowing you could go in and contribute, uh, you know, it's kind of tough, but, uh, you know, I'm just trying to take care of my injury right now, and I'll be back. Injuries to two key players resulted in the call-up of Tony Jensen and Paul Reese to the Australian squad to play the Missouri Tigers. Australia won both games and will play the Korean national team next week as the team prepares for the Oceania qualifying series for the 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games. Who's that off in the distance? Yes, it's the environmentally friendly Townsville Croc, always doing his bit for the community. The cause? Tidy up Townsville. The Croc hit the Queen River. The things you find, thumbs up to the crock for getting out there. The big game. It's the Wildcats and the Tigers in the big game of the Mitsubishi Challenge tonight. Perth have the wall, Blaha, Fisher, and Crawford, a defensive combination hard to break through. But Melbourne is a team of solid role players to complement the dynamic play of Gaze and Copeland. I guess, uh, first of all, trying to stop the uh, Gaze and Copeland show. Uh, Gaze, uh, Average about 35 points a game, and Copeland, they both get about three alley-oops a game. So I think with our um, the Wildcats, we're playing we're pretty, in pretty good form at the moment. We're just going out trying to uh, D them up. Well, it's going to be a difficult game for us because Perth are a great team and probably one of the favourites this year, and they've got a lot of talent on the court. The man likely to have the job of controlling Gaze will be Ricky Grace. Well, Andrew Gaze is the slipperiest player I've ever played against. He can score 10 points in 10 seconds, and he'll be causing havoc along with Lenar Copeland tonight. Although the guys won't admit it, there are definitely feelings between the two camps since the final showdown in 1993. I think uh, the Perth crowd they, is, is just as vocal, so I'm sure they're looking, looking forward to uh, getting on the uh, Melbourne Tigers case because uh, our fans have something about the Melbourne Tigers since the 93 uh, grand final. Milestones this week, and Leon Trimingham from the Sydney Kings scored his 1,000th NBL point in the NBL last night. Perth Wildcat Anthony Stewart is also aiming for his 1,000th NBL point. He needs only 10 points tonight against Melbourne. Birthdays, and Camber Cannon Ray Borner turns 33 today. David Blades from Townsville will turn 29 tomorrow. And Tassie Devil Peter Berthesel will celebrate 28 years on Tuesday. Congratulations, guys. Get ready for a slam dunk on Saturday when the North Melbourne Giants go up against the mighty magic of Southeast Melbourne. There will be tears. Join Bill Woods for all the action, 2 o'clock today on 10. The close one. Oh, Bahar gets the interception. Hey dudes, it's Hoops TV competition time, and we've got a lot for you to win. Check out this pack. Reebok basketball t-shirt, Pro Star mini ball, Sprite zipper, Shaq socks, and Obey Your Thirst Sprite cap, and all this comes in an above the rim bag. Here's the number you need, 00556017. Answer this question, name one of the Heartbreak High stars from the show today. Here's the number again, 00556017, and you can win this cool pack. Don't forget to check with mom and dad, then get to the phone. And here's last week's winner.
I've seen work too. Which reminds me, you can help me out with this maybe. I know you've seen the show and you're familiar with the soundtrack. Boots TV. Here we go. Boots TV. One more time. Hey, Boots TV. That's it now. Boots I can see it now. Boots TV the movie. But I need basketball players who can act. Listen. So I'll set up the scenario and you guys act it out. Okay. No time on the clock. You're at the free throw line. Mr. DeMille. If you miss it, you lose. If you make it, you win. Show me tense. Okay, you missed the shot. Show me sad. You made the shot. Show me happy. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Speaking of acting, you guys are on again. Ah, Sunday's 5.30. Funny you should ask. That's right. You guys always watch the show every week, right? Yes, Saturday's 8.30. In fact, we even appear on it occasionally. That's right. That's right. Well, you can see these guys every week on Sunday, and I'll see you <laughs> next week on Hoops TV. Hoops TV. Do your new Hoops TV. Hey, Next week on Hoops TV, I'll get some singing lessons with past to present. Do it.